Want to make an afghan one block at a time? Join me and we can make one together. Thank you for joining me on the journey to make an afghan together block by block. This video series takes 16 different afghan squares three of each of the same square, but each square of, that, of those three are a different shade of gray. You can pick your own colors, but I have the links to the three grays that I use down below. In the end, I will show you how to join the squares and finish off your afghan. In just a few short weeks, we will have a completed afghan. I want to make sure I give credit. Uh, the blocks are all a modification and a different version of patterns that I got from this uh, pattern that I had since 1997. So I don't believe it's in print anymore, but I wanted to make sure credit was given uh, to the original designer. For this block, we are going to do a combination of double crochets and single crochets and chains all in the same stitch uh, to make a little uh, pattern. It looks really cool. So we're going to start with our slip knot and draw up your uh, yarn and I'm using my size J crochet hook. And on this one we chain 25. Okay, there we have 25. Uh, as a practice, I like to double uh, check that I didn't miscount. 24, 25, looks good. So now we're gonna start in the fourth chain from the hook. So we're gonna count, so there's one, two, three, and four. So in the fourth chain, we're going to do a double crochet, a chain two, and then a single crochet, all in the same stitch. So, to start with, we're going to do first, we're going to do a double crochet. So, for a double crochet, you hook over your loop once and we insert it into the fourth chain and we make a double crochet. So, you draw back, draw through two, draw through two. Now, we're going to chain two and in that same stitch, we're going to do a single crochet. So, it just makes kind of an angled stitch there. So now we're going to skip two and we are going to do uh, two double crochets, two chains, and a single crochet. So we have two double crochets, a um, chain two, and a single crochet, which is uh, the same as over here. It's just our turning and is going to count as the first double crochet, second double crochet. There's our chain two and our single crochet. So now we're going to continue the same rhythm. We're skipping one, two, and we're going to do two double crochets. two chains, and a single crochet. Skip two, and when you're going in the chain down below, try to go under two pieces of the chain, two uh, parts of the chain. It just makes it a, a nice strong uh, stitch. So we're going to do two double crochets, chain two, and a single crochet. And continue that all the way across to the end. And go ahead and do the same stitch in your last chain. Okay, so that's what it looks like at the end of row one. So now to go to your next row, we're going to chain two. We're going to turn and now we are going to work in the chain two places all the way across. So in this chain two place, we're going to do two double crochets, two chains, and a single crochet. Now you're going to go to your next chain two place and do the same thing. Two double crochets, two chains, and a single crochet. 
skip everything in between to get to the next two chains place and repeat. Okay, we're down to our last uh, chain two place. We're going to go ahead and do the same stitch there. Two double crochet, two chains, and a single crochet. At this point, we're going to chain two, just like we did before, turn the project, and we're going to work in the, the first chain two place and repeat. So there's one, two, one, two, and one. So here you have your first row, your second row, and we're at the beginning of the, the third row, working in the chain two places all the way across. When you get to the end, work in your chain two place, chain two, and go back. And we're going to continue that till we make this a square. Okay, it looks like it's getting close to a square, so I'm going to finish off this row and we'll check our measurements. Okay, so we, we can test it this way, folding it as a triangle and see if we're pretty close to even, and it looks like it's real close, but we can also take a measurement, and that one's seven side to side, and that's just right at seven, um, so it looks like we finish off our pattern there. Now it's ready to put the edging on. To add a border on your squares with the same color, we are going to do one border of single crochets and then we are going to switch to the color that you have chose to be your uh, joining color. And in my case, my joining color is the light gray. So your first row around is the color of your square. Then we're going to finish it off and we're going to go join in with the color that you chose as your other your main color i should say so i have just completed the last stitch on this square all squares are going to be a little bit different but the process is the same so on the you finish your last stitch you're going to chain one in that last corner there you're going to put three single crochets now we are going down the end of your rows and we need to have 25 single crochets between this corner and the next corner so you just space them out evenly and each time I can promise you I've ripped them out uh, probably 50% of the time because um, each one is just a little different so I'm just going to show you my process so that's our corner and now you just start doing single crochets and count as you go so there's there's one, two, I'm going to do, put another one in that hole. There's three, four, five, I'm going to put another one in that hole. So that's six, seven, eight, nine in the same hole, ten, and eleven. 12. On 12 to 13-ish, you should be close to halfway, and it looks like we're pretty close. So that was 12, 13, 24 in the same hole, and in this last hole, we'll go number 25. Now we are up to the corner, and in that corner, you're going to put three single crochets. One, oh, there we go, two, and three. So now we have turned and we're going to go down this side. The beginning tail, I have wove it through this edge of the uh, square, so it will now get caught into our single crochet. So we've done three, and now we do the same process, 25 on this side. Okay, this is number 25 on my last side. So we have the each of the sides now have single crochets and at this point you just join with a slip stitch in that first single crochet that you started with. So just stick there you go I got it through both of the pieces of that uh, single crochet and a slip stitch is you just pull it through and pull it through. I'm going to cut my thread and then just pull 
through your string. And now I, at this point, so that I can catch that tail in my stitching, I feed it through that last edge. Now take the, your main color, which in, um, is my light color, and we are going to join it in the corner. Pick any of the corners, but just pick the middle of the three stitches. So here's one, two, three. So in the center one, insert your hook and draw up your yarn. Chain one. And in that same stitch, you're going to put three single crochets. Now we go on each side, but instead of 25 in between, we need to have 27. And this time it's a little bit easier because you are following the stitches from down below, but there have been many times, because crafting is not perfect, there's been many times that I'll get to the end and I only have 26. So I'll back it off a little bit and I'll add one here to make sure I have 27. It's very important to have 27 on each side. Each square needs to be blocked, and so I am using a June Taylor cushioned uh, square blocker, So, but there's a lot of mats out there. I have the link uh, for this one down below, but you need to pin it onto a mat 8 inches square. So each square needs to be pinned 8 inches, and um, I have been putting my pins every inch along each of the sides. And after we get that done, then we can steam it to get it into shape. So I start by putting a pin in each corner at the 8 inch mark and pin on each side. And then just add a pin all the way around. Okay, I'm just going to use um, my personal iron set on the steam setting. Steam each one of them for a minute. So I have uh, my board, I have three of them on here. So I'm going to steam each one for a minute, come back and hit them for about another 20 seconds. And then when they cool down, I can remove the pins. Once they have cooled down and are uh, dry, just pull off your pins and uh, your square is blocked and ready to attach to make your afghan. You may want to join your blocks as you go, and I have a diagram um, on the blog, DIYonthehouse.com, uh, that you can print out. You can put them together in whatever order you want, because I did not want any of the same colors beside each other. So however you choose to put them together, to join them, you'll need a large eye uh, yarn needle and I am going to join them with the light color, the same color as the second row of the edging on each of your squares. So just cut a piece, oh, roughly a yard long, and we will join it with this thread. And the reason we counted so uh, carefully to make sure there were 27 stitches on each side, this that'll make this process really easy. So to start the joining, Thread up a couple, uh, maybe an inch and a half, to hide your thread in the last row of stitching. And I'm just going to leave a tail like that. And then I have, um, following the pattern, I have my two pieces. I'm going to fold them wrong sides together. And I'm going to match up the corners. And it is just as simple as going through each from the bottom around to the top to the bottom 
to the top and do not pull them too tight just kind of nice and loose but not too loose okay there you can see the pattern that is um, going it just makes it all a nice diagonal a little stitch so go ahead and do your squares that way when you get to the end leave your tail long don't cut this off because you then can pick it up with um, your needle and join the next ones as you get them going so just leave your tails nice and long and you can join your squares as you get them done once you have sewn all of your squares together we need to put a border on the entire project so i'm going to show you how to do that i am going to use the same color that i joined all the squares with so in this pattern it is the light color and i don't like starting right on a corner so i'm going to go a few stitches before that just insert your hook draw through your thread drop your thread and I'm going to chain two so that's going to count as my first half double crochet and I'm going to do two rows all the way around of half double crochet so that's one in the next stitch loop over draw through draw through all three on the hook loop over draw through yep there we go and continue that and I started near a corner so you could see what I have to do when I get to a corner there we go okay this is the corner stitch we're going to put three half double crochets in the corner one two three now we're going down the other side and just continue a half double crochet all the way around your afghan okay and by putting those extra stitches in the corner it lays nice and flat so when you come around to this side we're just going to slip stitch in the top of the the first chain two uh, chain two again and do a second row and finish it off it'll just give it a nice solid border 